I thought we were already gone. I didn't even no, say No, sorry, sorry. I'm so, I was so, like, engrossed in your story that I just it's, wasn't saying anything. I, one of the number one skills I am, want to learn, after, honestly, it's literally because of this story, I really want to learn how to tell stories really well. Mm -hmm. Because that's a really hard skill, but it, the difference between, you know how it'll happen a lot? We'll come back before I start talking about all this crap. Excuse me? Sorry. This item like... sucks. Welcome, Welcome back. back. Nice. Good ah! job. <laughs> um, oftentimes you... Ooh, you I got right off. Oh. <laughs> uh, oftentimes you'll like recount a story of something really funny that happened to you and the people you're telling it to won't think it's really that funny. Mm. Uh, and that really is literally just because of your ability to tell a story or not. Yeah. Because if you want someone to find something funny that you thought was funny I while you were there... I thought that was farther away than I um, really... Yeah. You just have to be able to put them in that place, and that's all about storytelling. So I think that's a, something that'd be really cool to figure out how to do. Um, so I'm going to try to become a tour guide at a museum. <laughs> I think that'd be fun. Anyway, pictures of Big Nose George. His and his shoes. I mean, you already know what he looks like. Mm -hmm. But we'll get you... He also had a death mask made of him, which is cool. A death mask? Yeah, they. It's like, basically they sort of make a mold of your face, hmm. just so they have exactly what you look like. Interesting. Big nose, George. <laughs> okay, let's see here. You know what? So here are the shoes. Ew. Yeah, aren't those gross? Those are made out of his ass. Though, a funny little detail of the story, somehow, in transit between the doctor and the leather maker, the nipples disappeared and never got to be part of the shoes. So somebody decided, I'm gonna keep these nipples and pocketed them at some point. Ew. Which is really pretty funny. Or they got lost. She so got the shoes. Here's the bottom half of the skull. Just looks like a skull. Um, what else have we got? I don't know. Maybe the... Well, here's a little exhibit. That's his death mask and the shoes all together. Ooh. Yeah. Isn't that something? Some kind of a story. Yeah. Stuff, I feel like a lot of stuff like, oh, here's a picture of the whiskey barrel full of his dead remains. Oh, God. Yeah, it's nasty. Uh, I feel like a lot of stuff like that happened in the Old West that we never are going to get to hear about. Mm -hmm. Unless you go to, you know, places like this. Well, that, but also just they didn't have, like cameras or like you know if something happened in the middle of the desert that was really fucked up just nobody would know yeah uh but it's there's so much of it that we did learn because of stories like this it's like whoa it's yeah, like going to little museums like this are like they're, they're so cool oh you get to so figure cool. out like so many weird mysterious things i you know honestly though i think there's something Part of this is having a really good, like, tour guide, which I feel like is part of the reason why I want to do it is because I want to be really good at it. Mm -hmm. But if I would have gone to one of these museums and saw Big Nose George's head and read about him there, it wouldn't have been as magical as learning all about him and then getting to go and see the story sort of come to life in a way. Like, knowing the story first. He's breathing. He's going to kill you. You can see him breathing. He's going to kill you. Uh... Yeah, knowing the story first makes it way more interesting when you finally go to the museum. Because if you don't... I don't know. There's just something about, like, if you go to a museum and learn about... Oh, here's the... Like, you'll say, whoa, those shoes are made of a person. But you won't have any sort of investment in the story. So you don't really care that much or necessarily find it. Uh, maybe that's just me. Why know. did I hop on this? You'll spook him. Where did he get that witchcraft device? And then he would just give up. Boop. So yeah, Big Nose George. What a cool guy. He's my new bro model. I want to be like Big Nose George. We also stopped talking for about 30 seconds. Yeah. <laughs> yeah uh, okay. 
Dell129 says, listen to question. I only listen to game and movie soundtracks too. What are your favorite game TV or movie soundtracks, Aisha? Lord of the Rings. That's a great one. Excellent. Harry movie. Potter. Harry Potter's also very Hayao good. Hayao Miyazaki. I've never listened to much of that music. Man, that guy's tall. And he's fast. He's tall and he's fast. He's got a big nose. Is that? No. <laughs> big nose, you. George! He's alive. Yeah. I think this is the last episode of the day because I'm out of things to say. I. I'm done. Yeah. Oh, what's some story that you learned when you you said you learned well, the like biggest life one, lessons? I learned a lot of life lessons. Uh. I don't remember what they are. I can't think straight. I'm. It's that's it for me. Yeah, I'm kind of. I'm dead. I feel dead too. I think this session is going to be over after this episode. I think it's also too hot in here. Yes, I just noticed about two minutes ago that it is sweltering in this room. I'm like not. Remembering how to strike. Play things. video games? Yeah. Not that hard of a boss, once again. He's tired. Does he have fangs? Looks like he has fangs. He, I think he's fake. I think he's a ghost. A ghost of Christmas He's past. one of those redeads. Oh, yeah. Cool. You did it. Oh. That was a little bit of a delayed... Delayed response. With the you saying up? Oh. No, with the the chest. It was like I was able to look around, and then it showed the chest. It was weird. Like, this item like, sucks. Yeah, I don't like this item. Let's see. Where am I? In? Let's do this. Cause all it does is the one little thing in the temple. It's not like you could like imagine if the whole thing with this item is you could just bring inanimate objects to life and run around with them. Mm -hmm. You could just go out and just start possessing trees and move <laughs> them around. Or, you know what I mean? That that could be so cool. But they restrict it just to these specific statues. Which is too bad. It's like the statues in, um... In, a uh, Castle in the Sky? Is that what it's called? Never seen it. I've only seen one of those movies and it was spirited away. Get in here. Come on. There, there we go. go. So, yeah. Oh, man, it's hot. Yeah. Maybe we'll just be done. Five-minute episode. You've got 30-minute episodes all the time now. Wait, do some listener questions. Oh, I hate these. <laughs> I hate our listeners. No. Uh, Justin Elric says, Aisha really needs to be on an episode of Egg Users. Dee's Walmart says, Would you guys be interested in doing an Omegle? No. What the fuck? I don't want to see dicks. Yeah. Not your guys' dicks, anyway. Um, <laughs> I don't want to, I mean. Some people's dicks I would see, like Big Nose George, Matthew Mercer, etc. Mm -hmm. uh, um, <laughs> Matt HG 97 says, So last night I got a terrible fever, and this got me thinking, what is the worst being sick experience you've ever had? For example, last night I puked so hard I woke up my family. Congratulations. We just talked about this like two episodes ago. Yeah. Uh, which means that we're not going to talk about it now. Food poisoning sucks. That's like the worst I've ever been sick. Food poisoning? Yeah. I would expect it not to be that bad. No. Huh. When you get it really bad, it sucks. Ah. I guess I've never had it really bad. Um, Poblox, what games did you like so... <gasps> what games did you... Bram it down. No. What games did you like so much that you spent a bunch of hours playing it to unlock everything? Have you ever 100%ed a game? I don't 100% many yes. games. Yes. I think I might have done it on this one. Twilight Princess? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I don't... Hmm. A Wind Waker, maybe? No, not for me. I don't think I've ever really done it. Maybe that's just, uh, I don't know. Because I feel like once you beat a game, it's like if you keep doing more, sometimes it just... I don't know. You can just go too far with that kind of stuff. It sort of can ruin the pacing of the game. It's also kind of time-consuming. Like, it's just... I don't know, it it is. seems like a waste of time. And a lot of the times I'd rather just go on to another game. As opposed to... Whoa, I didn't know you could break those. You killed yourself. Are you kidding? No, how do you expect to survive that match? I didn't think head? I was in the final way. Well, you were, now you're dead. I just killed myself. It was suicide. That was suicide. Link's suicide. It's not good. Oh my god, where am I going to start? You got the rod, so it can't be that... Oh, look at that. Right here. 
You're back one room, so you just gotta deal with the one, this room again. It's not even that bad. We've been wanting it to be worse, haven't we? I just, I want fights to be worse. Not, not- a, Not stupid little shit like this. Yeah, but aren't, isn't part of fights being worse, like making, well, I guess, yeah, not stupid little shit like I died because I mashed myself on the head, but, <laughs> um, you yeah, know, okay, fine. I see your point. <sighs> So then, the thing is, now I'm kind of like, I want to just look up history things like that, mm -hmm. because they're really interesting, and see if I can't find any other things to enthrall myself with, or like museums to go to that I know something about beforehand. Like, when I was in California, I went to this one house that was, um, it was like this lady was like kind of crazy and she made a bunch of houses and like weird little tunnels and like rooms that didn't make sense what the hell? Died. god bless my soul what the hell? god bless my soul um yeah it was really cool did you learn anything from it that some people are crazy it's true it's like that house on the rock in wisconsin House on the Rock. It's a similar place where this guy he wanted to be like an architect, so he sent a sent like a letter to the architect saying, "Hey, can I work for you?" And the architect, "No, you suck." So he said, "You know what? I'm gonna build a house all by myself." And he just literally from scratch brought a bunch of wood up to the top of like some giant hill and built this crazy house that has like crazy music playing all the time and animatronics and like a weird dark rooms and a carousel and just all this nuts so stuff in the middle of Wisconsin it's just this huge weird house that I want I really want to go to because hmm. I heard it's awesome so yeah some people are a little eccentric as they say yeah I'm trying to think of what that house was called that I went and saw I don't remember it but uh, Nicholas Whitaker said, just finished taking the ACT, so some two people who are playing games fun is appreciated. Listener questions. What is your favorite class in school? What subject that you don't know much but would like to learn? Big no church. For instance, I've always been a science guy, but it wasn't until recently that I figured out how rad forensic science was, so now I'm trying to learn as much as I can because I don't know jack crap about it. Well, Nicholas, that's kind of what we've been talking about. Forensic science? Is that what he said? Uh, yes. He's I love talking forensic about, science. Yeah, I was gonna, yeah, it's the same thing. Um... But it really is just once you realize how wonderful everything is, going to places like museums or school or just learning or going on Wikipedia even is just wonderful. Uh, because you can learn so much about so many cool things. And you just, like when you're a kid and you go to a museum, you just don't give a crap. But it's awesome. Mm -hmm. And you don't even know that it's awesome. Except sometimes when you go to museums and then stuff isn't very interesting. And then you're just like really tired and bored. Yeah, and that's part of like what I was saying. How I feel like I'm gonna museum, die from these museums this don't be the worst death in the world. run away. You're dead. You run away. Do you Come have get me, motherfucker. Yeah, there you go. Let's see. This is a good strategy here. Man, how are you already up to 162 rupees again? Um, I don't remember any of this temple. Yeah, I was gonna I'm say you probably it. weren't even like paying yeah, attention. Yeah, I really wasn't. I was I was in Wyoming in my brain <laughs> thinking about <laughs> Big Nose George. PNG. Don't go down there. Gonna get killed. That guy's got a lot of help, doesn't he? That spider. Yeah, you shot him like five times. I know. So yeah, I feel like uh, everything is interesting, and you just have to be able to tell the story well enough, or just explain it well enough. You got arrows, huh? Oh. Uh, use your hook shot. Um, and a lot of museums really don't do a very good job of it because, like, I imagine the Big Nose George Museum is just, like, a little cabinet with shoes and shit with, like, a one paragraph thing about Big Nose George. But if you actually get into the story and told it in a way that was really good... <laughs> oh my god, Aisha. <laughs> Why'd you even... I guess you want to get arrows, huh? I should have killed them all first. You could have gotten a hook shot instead, instead of using arrows. Oh god, I'm an idiot. I'm not an idiot. I'm but that's kind of why I want to go to, uh, I want to go to the Mill City Museum again. Because mm -hmm. I feel like, again, I've never really appreciated that story of how the mill blew up and whatever. Because that could be really cool. Mm -hmm. uh, but. Go ahead, stop there. Yeah, I just don't. I never really. 
I don't know. It doesn't matter. Just stop things. Stop things. Isn't that coming back this year? Yeah. Like November or something? Uh, I think October? October 23rd. Oh, that's not too far away. I'm really excited. It's, uh... It's, a lot of the characters look like they're from the comic books. And interesting. And there's, like, a really cool thing about this one character that probably would have been really hard for them to do. And they put it in there, and I'm very, very, very happy. Nice. Well, that's good. Definitely is something that I am looking forward to seeing. I also still gotta watch that E.T. show. E.T.? Oh, Things. Stranger Things. That's such a good show. That's what everybody's saying. Everybody's saying, gotta watch it, gotta watch it, do this, do that. You know, this episode's over. It is. Yep. Really? Yep. D-O-N-E. I like how you sort of, when you pull out the spinner, you expect to just run through all of them and like And then they them, like run away. But you get one every time. Look at them. They're chasing me, douchebags. That was stupid of them. Death. Death! Death to the non-believer. <laughs> I believe in Big Nose George. I believe in Big Nose George. I believe in Harvey Dent. All right, we're done with this episode. Yes. Bye, everybody. Have a good day. Except, like, the one day that I bought those Butterfinger Bites and I bought, like, Twix, too, I, I left the Twix in the car so it melted all together. Yeah. So I threw it in the freezer and it melted into one block. And just... And I noticed that, like, someone was eating it and I got really mad. So then I just, like, ate, like, half the block at <laughs> like once. I, you have to get to it before they... <laughs> yeah. Don't, don't just tell them not to eat it yet. Just eat it before. Yeah. That's really funny that someone just saw like a block of chocolate in the freezer. And just, like, yeah, like they just saw Twix. Mm -hmm. They said, "I'm gonna cut a piece of that." Like, what the Mine, fuck? Yeah. Like douchebags! <laughs> like, if you didn't, if you don't know where it came from, don't fucking eat it.